Hey guys, so it's been like seven months since I've last made a video, and in that video I was covering Regulation F, and here we are now, seven months later, taking a look at the rule set for Regulation H. So, this is crazy, it's kind of like Regulation A again, along with DLC mons that are not Legendary or Paradox. So, if you guys follow Zach on Twitter or YouTube, I'm going to link them down in the description. He's been running tournaments that follow this exact format for a few months now. And yeah, it's been, I haven't participated in it because I've been working a lot recently. But it's been good practice for some people and something I want to look into. So yeah, this regulation starts on September 1st of this year and ends on January 5th. So that covers all of the regionals that have been announced. Baltimore, Kentucky, Sacramento, and Toronto. And along with other events. But once we finish this regulation, we'll be returning back to Regulation G. Which once again allows all legendaries and restricteds. Obviously keeping mythicals banned. So I want to take a look at notable mons that have been banned. So one thing that I'm like noticing, or one thing that I want to bring up, is that Latios is banned. And Latios has been picking up recently. It was used in that Zamazenta team that Michael Kels used to win a event. That whole team has been like crazy. It's been everywhere. Latios, Zamazenta. Those who are banned. Kyogre, Groudon, they're banned. I don't think Groudon was even being used, especially now that we have Paridon, or had Paridon. Who else is banned? Heatran's banned. Cresselia's banned. That one's kind of big. It's a pretty bulky Trick Room setter. It's kind of hard to take down. The Source of Justice are banned. I don't think they were really used as much as well. Except for maybe Terrakion with Beat Up along with Whimsicott. But that was pretty gimmicky. Tornadus is a huge one that's been removed. No more Prince of Tailwind. Prankster Taunt. I mean, we still have Prankster Taunt and Prankster Tailwind. But Tornadus was like the best user of Prankster Tailwind. I guess on the positive side is that you can't miss Bleak and Storms anymore, because he won't be using it. Landorus is gone, no more Sheer Force Life Force, or Sheer Force Life Orb. I don't really think it was being used in Reg G that much, but I still wanted to point out that it's gone. No one cares that nebby has gone, Cosmo and Cosmo. Samazenta I already spoke about. This is Probably one of the biggest ones. Urshifu's gone, both forms. No rapid strike, no single strike. Which, with them being out of the picture, it allows for more underused Pokemon to shine, which I'll go over in a little bit. The Kalis are gone. Paradox are gone. I'm gonna miss Fluttermane to be honest. Fluttermane's great. It's gone, bro. And the. The Ruinous Mons, I don't know what their official name is, but Wo Chen Chen Pao Ting Lu Chi Yu's gone. The, the Loyal Three, they're gone. I mean, none of them were really being used. I'm gonna miss Okie Dogi though, that's my boy. And another big one, Ogre Pond's gone. Ever since Ogre Pond came out, it's been dominant. Especially with Wellspring and Hearthflame form. Cornerstone picked up a bit recently along with that Field Mask form. The Cornerstone one was used in... I believe it was Indianapolis on the Rajon Ball winning team. So I'm gonna miss Ogre Pond. Raging Bolt, that's a big one. It's gone. Terrapagos is gone as well. So I want to see, 
The last time I checked, Showdown was down. Is Showdown still down? Oh, Showdown's down. Okay, so luckily I have and I have Picolytics pulled up. So I have access to the old regulation. Here we go. So a bunch of big mons are gonna pick up again. I think Neoscarada is gonna pick up. Actually, I'm just being hopeful. I love Neoscarada. I'll look at Reg because it gives me a wider variety of mons to look at. So obviously we have our staples like Incineroar, Rillaboom. Amoongus isn't going anywhere either. I think Ursaluna is gonna pick up. Ursaluna Blood Moon specifically. Palathorn. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay. Palathin is gonna pick up. Who else do I believe will pick up? Maybe King Gambit would be nice. Basically, we're mons that were pretty good in Reg A, along with staples from the current regulation, would be good. Like, Neoscarada was the top tier mon during the beginning of time. Size spam would go crazy, I think. Mouse Ape? I'm not ready for Mouse Ape. Dondoza Tatsugiri? I wish I could give you guys a better visual, but Showdown is down. Golden Go would go crazy. I don't know if Garg will pick up again. I think now we have like Rillaboom to like stomp it, but you never know, it could pick up. It was a pretty annoying thing to deal with. Like look at this. That's pretty much 100% usage, or 100% like salt pool. I mean, this was the most standard move set. It was crazy, super annoying. So, Tornadus is gone. What prankster tailwind bond will we be using? So, we have Murkrow, which was pretty popular back in Reg A. But now we have Whimsicott, so I don't really know if we're going to be seeing Murkrow pop up, but I'm mostly anticipating it to just be Whimsicott. Looks like Trick Room would be good. Slice spam. Dundos of Tatsugiri, here they are. I don't know if Dragonite's gonna be good, especially now that Chen Pao is in its partner, because it is banned. Max Caliber would be nice. Um, a mon that I was thinking about was Basky Legion. So you can pair up Basky Legion with Caliber and Archiludon. I think that would be like a serious threat. But if you have Basket Legion as your rain sweeper, late game sweeper with last respect, that thing like destroys, especially if you're down to your last one. But yeah, it's gonna be exciting to see what goes on. I'm kind of excited to go to Sacramento now because I want to see how this all plays out. But yeah. Oh, that is still down, unfortunately. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll be back for more videos soon. Yeah, peace out.